Greetings radio people, welcome back once more to the shack. Very quick video today to talk about balloons and their output impedance. Now, I've set up a very, very crude test setup here. So I've taken my uh, Ringold Spectrum Analyzer, connected it to a return loss bridge, and then my ballon is connected, the unbalanced side of my ballon is connected to the return loss bridge. And then the two balanced outputs of my ballon are connected to potentiometers. It's a dual gang 0 to 500 ohm potentiometer, which is down to ground. So effectively, I've got a resistor from each balanced output down to ground of the same resistance. But I can then vary that. Now, if you look at the spectrum analyzer screen, you see there's a marker at 7 megahertz just for a, a, a particular reference point. Now, if I now tune or adjust all the way to one end my potentiometer, you can see that the SWR at 7 megahertz is now 4.2 to 1. If I then turn the potentiometer slowly, you'll see the SWR or the return loss increases. So the SWR is getting better and better and better, and then it gets worse and worse and worse until at the other end of the spectrum, the SWR is calculated as negative because it's practically infinite. But what you can see is that there is a sweet spot where the output uh, SWR, sorry, the SWR of the balanced port is the best it can be, which is kind of round about there. So what I can do now is I can desolder that potentiometer, I can stick it on an AVO, and I can see what the resistance is. And that will be half of my output impedance, So because I've got two of them down to ground. So what I need to do now is I would expect, because this is my 4 to 1 ballon, I would expect the resistance that I'm going to measure at the best SWR to be 100 ohms. So let's see what it is. So all I've done now is desolder one of these legs here. And what I'm going to do is measure the resistance between this point and ground. And the, the camera should now be pointing at my resistance measuring device. And lo and indeed behold, it's 103, nearly 104 ohms. So I would suggest that the output impedance of my ballon, which is meant to be 200 ohms, i.e. 4 times 50, is actually 208 or something like that, which is damn, damn good. That's the only way I can think of measuring the output impedance. Now, I could have also connected my scope to the output and measured it for maximum amplitude um, whilst adjusting the pot and got rid of the spectrum analyzer and the fancy return loss bridge and all that nonsense. So you could have just done this with a signal generator and a scope. But the advantage of the spectrum analyzer is we can view the return loss across a frequency range. So the plot that you were looking at was 0 to 50 megahertz. So I hope that answers some of the questions that have been asked about how do you tell what the output impedance is and whether I've actually got a 4 to 1 ballon or not. If anyone's got any suggestions of how to do that better or neater or cheaper, then let's please have that in the comments. It would be great to have a bit of a discussion around this. As ever, if you like this rubbish that I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. Your support would be more than welcome.